Formula One returns home to Europe for the Spanish Grand Prix in Barcelona. The teams know this place well. During the winter, the circuit is very popular for testing. The reason? Spain's mild climate. The 4.7 kilometers are a good mix of quick corners and tight turns, which are pretty demanding, especially on the brakes. For example, going into turn one, the best chance to overtake after 16 seconds flat out on the start-finish straight. On we go, shifting down from almost 300 km per hour into third gear and through Repsol, the long right-hander, then accelerating out and immediately hard again into the Seat chicane, where precision and timing are key. The many fast corners, four taken at over 200, put an extreme strain on the neck muscles. With centrifugal forces of 4G, the driver's head feels heavier every lap. The mercurial wind is treacherous, blowing varying amounts of dust onto the track and thus constantly influencing driving conditions. Due to the few opportunities to overtake, a good grid position here can often decide the race. Nine wins from pole in the last nine years say it all. And the ban on mid-race refueling even makes overtaking in the pits this year more difficult than ever before.